Okay, Google, stop vacuum. Got it. Stopping the vacuum. Okay, Google, dock vacuum. Sure, docking the vacuum. Double press. Single press. Ta da! So, you guys have seen a lot of such cool stuff from those smart home videos, and you really want to try it out yourself, be it for your future new house or your current place, but you absolutely have no idea how to do so. You tried doing some research but it only gets more and more confusing. Even for myself, basically a tech nerd and working in the IT industry for more than 10 years, it's really not that easy. And I would say the main reason is because this whole smart home industry is in such a complete mess. All the different companies doing their own things and coming up with their own products. This smart home thing is very region or country specific. So whatever YouTube videos that you see from other countries are not necessarily available or going to work in Singapore. But don't give up just yet. I'm going to do my best now to break down all these things in the simplest way to understand and walk you through what you need to know about smart home. Let me adjust the camera and prepare my stuff. In my area of work, I learned that the best way to explain concept is using the whiteboarding way. So let's talk about smart home. So first of all, we talk about what are the things we want to make them smart. The most popular or rather the first thing people look at is smart lights. There are basically two approach to do this. You can either use smart switches or using smart bulbs. I will not go into the details of the comparison of these two, both have its own pros and cons uh, but at the end, both are able to meet the objective of automating lights. For light switches, there are a bunch of companies doing this. For light bulbs, I would say the most popular one should be Philips Hue but it is super expensive. A cheap alternative is E-Light which I think is part of the Xiaomi ecosystem. Then you realize you want to do more with these lights like what I show in the beginning of this video. Like my favorite wireless switch to turn on and off the lights. Basically anything that you want. You may also want to make use of sensors, door or window or motion sensor. Very good to use at the toilet in the middle of the night you need to go and pee, then it will automatically on the toilet light for you. And also smart plugs to on and off, things like that. Then another very popular thing is to make a bunch of these remote controls smart. So for example, you want to be able to turn on and off your aircon anywhere, switch on your TV and go to the Netflix to the correct episode that you want, things like that. Then you might have a bunch of other smart devices like your door lock. Not just able to unlock with password, thumbprint or your phone but also able to set automation rules. For example, I set mine to whenever it is um, unlocked to switch on the entrance light for me. Next one is doorbell. Where you can have a live video feed on your mobile and communicate to the person standing outside. It is very good in cases where you have some delivery coming but you are not at home or for security purpose like people loitering around your house it is able to detect those motion sensors and alert you whenever that happens. Then, you can have 
I have shown this how I automate my curtains in my previous video. It is super convenient. I think this one self explains. A lot of family uh, start to get this. Really very convenient. And lastly, personally, I don't have this. But I think a lot of household has this. Uh, especially during the haze period of the year, then they can make use of the air purifier to turn on and off whenever it meets certain conditions. With all this, you will definitely want to be able to control them with your mobile. But to do this, of course, you need to have your internet, Wi-Fi connection and have all these devices connected. But not all of them will have the Wi-Fi connectivity, especially in these two categories where they communicate through another protocol such as ZigBee or Z-Wave. To explain protocol in layman, you can treat this like a language they speak so let's say Wi-Fi is English, all these devices can speak English, but these two can only speak Chinese. You need them to be all able to communicate with each other. So you need a translator, which is a hub that is able to understand and speak both English and Chinese. So now you have a smart home setup, which you can control with your mobile and able to set automation rules like every day 6.30 p.m. it will automatically turn on the lights you want, switch on the AC and TV, and open up the curtains. Still missing one piece of the puzzle, which is a voice assistant. There are basically three players, Google, Amazon, Apple. I hope I don't offend any of these fans watching here right now. Uh, for Apple, they are like playing the catch-up game from the other two. They are in fact quite far behind. They are also famous for overpriced products and very proprietary stuff. Furthermore, if you are not using any of the Apple products, then you can definitely forget about them. For this guy, if I'm staying in the UK or US, I will definitely use them and choose them. But in Singapore, you can't even search for the app in your app store. Yes, definitely there will be work around if you really want them. But right now, it just seems that so many things are not supported and integrated with them in FG. So that leaves us with no choice but to go with them. Although they have their own set of problems also. Again, Voice assistant is also something optional depending on whether you are someone that likes to rely on voice commands. The most headache thing about all this smart home automation is to have all these devices, all these different solutions integrate and work together well with each other. So we want to achieve using as minimum number of mobile apps and devices as possible. So I will share with you what is the brand or solution right now I'm using for my own setup. For voice, it's Google. For lights, I'm using Akara and e -Light. For sensors, Xiaomi and Akara. For remote control, I'm still kind of choosing what solution to go with, but um, it's going to be most likely between these two. Either the Xiaomi or Broadlink. For smart devices, I think you guys already know what I'm using. Doorlock is Xiaomi. For doorbell, I'm using Ring. For curtains and blinds, I'm using Akara. Vacuum robot is Xiaomi. Um, Roborock. It, I think it's the older version, S5, then FPR fire, I don't have any. 
So I hope that this video is useful in helping you to understand what are the various components that make up a smart home. 11.11 is coming, so I think it's a good time from now till then to do some research and see which brands of solutions that you might be interested in, then leverage on the 11.11 discount. Um, my future videos is going to go a little bit more details into each of this area. So if this is something that you might be interested in, don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't seen my previous video, you can check them out over here. Uh, bye for now and I'll see you next week.